what's going on y'all welcome back to another video man it's your boy fat cat of course today i'm bringing you a special 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 car none other than this hellcat on instagram is uh, tor red cat i'll show you guys instagram in a minute man but this car is owned by by keith very, very cool dude that i met on off of instagram um he lives not too far away from me uh luckily so I hit him up say hey man let's do a little feature on your car man so of course actually i think i mentioned this to you guys yeah um if you guys see my video that i did on the uh on the car show the car show video remember I, this this car was in it and remember i told you guys that we he didn't know it yet but we were going to do a feature on this car so i hit him up not too long ago say hey man let's do a feature on the car and of course sure enough man like i said being a cool dude that he is he said let's go ahead and do it man so anyway so let me give you guys a little bit of walk around first of the car then we'll bring him in so he could talk talk about what he has done to the car and then we'll go from there man let's go All right, guys. So we're gonna talk about the car. My man Keith here does not want to be on <laughs> on video, but uh, it's all good, man. You know these people down in Florida, they're very humble, you know, guys, and they just do their work. Even the same thing with Unique Rides, the guys that do my uh, all my custom work, as you guys know. Like I said, they don't really like to be on camera too much, and it's just very humble, man. People down here just do what they gotta do, and get get some nice rides, and, and and you know don't want a lot of recognition for it. But anyway. So we're gonna have Keith talk off camera and take everything, you know, tell us everything we got done to it. So let's go, Keith. Um, we got the uh, air air ride, of course, with uh, air lift, suspension struts. We got the Acuair E level this is controller. And that's pretty much. I mean, that's the first thing you notice about this car. Obviously, it's just sitting on the ground. So we got the uh, true spike lug nuts on there. Mm -hmm. um, the tire stickers, tire graphics, uh, ZL1. Uh, the rock guards the rock and. Guards uh, and ZL1 side skirts with the with the rock guards. We got the ZL1 wicker bill on the back. Um, got the Icon diffuser on the, with the uh, car carbon uh, exhaust tips, five inch tips. I tell you, man. I tell this guy all the time. Every time I see his car, God, I love these tips, man. So these are definitely one of the things I'm, I'm going to do on his uh, on my car. I love these tips. Got the uh, spoiler king. Spoiler up top of the top window there, back window. For those that don't know, so this particular color is called Tor Red. Tor Red. So on pictures, if you guys ever watch my Instagram, sometimes I have his car and a lot of my pictures, some of my pictures, my later pictures. And for some reason, my car and his car look exactly the same in in pictures, but this is an actual red, and mine obviously is gold mango, so it's more of an orange. So, but this man this car is beautiful man you see it in person and you just can't take your eyes off of it and if you guys don't know again this is his instagram tour red cat so make sure you go follow him they got some dope pictures on there i mean almost every day he's dropping more and more beautiful pictures it's like how, how do you even get better than your last one <laughs> but yeah man led lights which are not on you can't see them in the sun but they're the they do all the chasing stuff in different colors yeah, we'll see. Well, I mean, you could probably see it if you turn it on a little bit, but uh, yeah. So he has the uh, what are they called again? The um, it's Hercules LED Hercules. Hercules. I don't know if you guys can really see that, man, but they're like changing colors. He's changing them by remote. Gonna have a relay there. Got 
And like I said, if you can't, if you don't know, man, follow him on Instagram. He has some sick, sick, sick pictures of this thing at night, with you know, with all the LEDs on and everything else. Just looks nasty, man. And then when the hood pops up, he has some LEDs in the hood as well. Uh, and there, as far as dressed up and just the whole package, man, it makes it look, especially at nighttime when you're sitting there, it makes it look super mean. But let's open up the hood, man, so we can show them what we got in there. All right, so of course, uh, first thing you notice is your supercharger in there, because obviously this is a Hellcat. So. What else have we got in here, Keith? Um, we got the leg maker cold air intake. And then the other thing is just the Speed Logic catch can on there that I did. Other than that, she's stuck. You did uh, you did that yourself as far as the, the paint? No, it came powder. I ordered a powder coat. Oh, you ordered a powder coat, okay. But you installed it yourself. Yes, you. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's got the LED lights. Then, oh, yeah, so if you can't tell, like I said, it has the LED lights back here. These are, uh, they're red, obviously. So at nighttime, man, it just looks phenomenal and then like i said when he has that hooked up with uh with you know the lights here plus he has like a uh, show yeah we'll, we'll, we'll set it up for you guys so you can see it so there you go so he has the show piece in there so this is pretty much his setup when he uh you know when he goes to a show or something like that and like i said everything all tied together man looks uh phenomenal so you have LED lights in the back. I can see in the back over there, you know, back back there, but you also have them down here. The grill, yes, sir. So they also have them in the grill. And it's, it's, so it's only in the grill and back there? Okay. But it literally makes like the entire thing glow. Like I said, with the light, with the LED lights in there as well. It just ties the whole package together, man. This is, you've had this car for how long? Probably seven, eight months. Seven or eight months, man. And look at, look at the way this thing looks. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I, I thought I, I thought I might be fast tracking, but I think I'm I'm going slow. <laughs> I've had mine about two months now. And it's like, man, I need to do some more things to my car. But anyway, man, this thing looks phenomenal. I mean, it's an eye catcher, obviously. Everywhere you go, man, people like literally when I ride like behind you or whatever, the few places that we've been going, I mean, people just cannot take their eyes off of this thing, man. So great job so far. Only seven to eight months on the build. And obviously, I know there's probably plenty more to go. So. So there you go, man. So we'll get in the car now. We'll go take it for a ride. Obviously, you know, I've never been on, I've never been in a car, on a modern car with bags. So, yeah, so it's, it's been a minute, man, since like the early 2000s. So definitely gonna go check it out and, uh, you know, see how it rides. Let's go. And then actually, before we go on a ride, man, let me show you guys the setup back here. So you have the E-Level, it's by AccuAir. The bags are, are by who again? Airlift suspension. Airlift suspension. So, there you go. So if you, I mean, everybody knows, you know, your air ride, you know, you're gonna put a compressor somewhere in the car or whatever, but if you wanna set up like this, this is pretty much what it's gonna end up looking like. And so you guys, and so you guys know, um, I did ask him how much this setup did cost, you know, so just in case if you guys are ever thinking about doing something like this, the, setup, the way he has his setup, which is the, like I said, the E-Level AccuAir with the uh, airlift, airlift um, be, uh, struts, and bags, right? Which, the, which, by the way, he said that um, the way his is set up is pretty much like they're almost like coilovers, right? So the way that they're set up is almost like coilovers because it has the struts and the bags and everything else. So that entire setup cost about almost four grand. So just so you guys know, you know, just in case if you want something like this, because I'm actually thinking about doing this, so it's just you know, it's good information for you guys to know what you guys are looking for or looking at if you want to get something like this. And this is the legit way. Now you can't have it cheaper. You know, I mean, but as you guys know, I've said previous times on my channel, I'm not doing anything cheap in my car. So you could do it cheaper, but you, you then run the risk of something happening while you're driving down the road or something like that, man. So if you want something that's going to be legit and you know it's going to be uh, uh, trustworthy and, and reliable, this is pretty much your setup. And like I said, it run you around four grand or something like that, man. So anyway, man, let's get in the car and let's go take a ride. All right, man. So we're going to have to force Keith to be on camera a little bit. I told him, I was like, come on, man, you got to be on camera. Anyway, <laughs> so real quick. So you guys can see the inside of it, man. I, I, I forgot to even show the inside, but you guys can see he has the red leather in here as well. So it's red on De red, man. Demonic red. Yeah, demonic red interior. So you have the red on red with the you know black seat belts. Look at that. Of course, you got the red key. Man, this thing is beautiful. So you have anything else? Is anything done to the inside, or is it pretty much stock on the inside? inside. Okay. And this thing, man, you notice, man, like it's 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 a difference. Like I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do it with my bad knees when I, whenever I back my car, but this thing sits super low to the ground. Man, look at this. I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but it is 
play. It's probably like a finger, maybe a finger and a half, but it sits super low to the ground, man. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this when I when I uh, when I get when I get my bags with my bad knees. But you said so when you turn it on, it, it raises automatically. It'll go, it'll go to ride hike when I start it. Huh? Okay, so let's see that. So that's nice. So you have it set up like that. Uh, so when it turns on, it automatically goes to right height. Yeah. So but what about it when you turn it off? It doesn't stay at right height unless I hit it. Unless you hit it, okay. So like three, three is four wheel drive mode. <laughs> and one, where, I, where I'm at right now. And then two is right height, and then one is uh, it's aired out. Okay. So one is basically sitting on the floor. Yep. Two is right height. Yep. Three is uh, stock, basically. Yeah, man. So, so what have you, uh, like anything? Um, well, I mean, you've already told me. So, basically, do you like the car a lot better with the bags on it? Yeah, it rides a lot better. Rides a lot better, rides like a Cadillac? Kind of, yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, I will say, I do feel it already. We haven't even went anywhere, and I do feel that it's, it does ride a little bit smooth. Like, you don't feel those, the harsh the bumps on it, right? Yeah. Exactly. You put springs on it. When you put lower springs on it, it'll, it'll make it worse than the stop. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, there go that sweet sound of that supercharger. God. Do you have any plans for it um, performance-wise? Um, maybe headers, maybe do a tune, exhaust, whatever. Mm -hmm. That'd be about it. That'd be about it. You I mean, don't really need much, man. See, here's the difference with the people. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Different than the damn scat pack. Let me tell you, man. <laughs> totally different. Man, you can sit there and be all day. I, I don't care, man. You, you know, I, I can sit there and act like my car is fast, and it, it, it does it does its job. Nothing beats a freaking Hellcat, man. Like it, it's it's a difference. There's definitely a difference, man. Push you pushes you back in the seat. But anyway, so um, you know, I'm trying to tell everybody, you know, on this YouTube channel, like Florida just does it differently, man. Like. You know, we have a lot, you know, we're obviously we're about performance and all that stuff as well, but we're also really big into looking good, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, a lot of these cars, like in the Midwest or even up north or whatever, like California is into looking good as well, but like the Midwest and up north, for some reason, you know, they think uh, the majority of cars that you see anyway, they're big on just going to the track. Go to the track, make it as fast as you can, and that's it, right? But. You know, and, and no, no, no knock on on you know Midwest or anything else, but I'm just saying here in Florida, we're really, really, really big on looking good, man. So, uh, you know, yes, obviously you want your car to be fast and all the other good stuff, man. But I think looking good is probably the priority. Yeah. What'd you say? No matter how you drive, it's how you arrive. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, but man, this thing is crazy, man. God. Makes me wish I probably should have got a Hellcat. <laughs> Imagine those people to have like a thousand horsepower right. Hellcats. Oh, yeah. That'd be crazy. And then the torque in that thing must be ridiculous. Man. So, in uh, seven to eight months of ownership, man, you got any anything like any regrets or anything you should you, you thought you you wish you could have got as far as like packages or anything like that? No, sure, not you're, really. You're, yeah, you're I'm pretty happy with what I got. Hundred percent happy oh, with yeah. what you got. Yeah, sure. Okay. So that's good. You know, some people they get the car or whatever, and uh, you know they're like, I, mean, I should, probably should have got this or got that. But yeah, I mean, this thing it does look good. I mean, tour red with the red seats, the modern red interior. I mean, you really can't beat it. Um, it's a funny story, man. So this guy, <laughs> so he lives uh, in the next pretty town, next town over, right? It's about 30 minutes, maybe 30, 45 minutes. But I will tell you, man. Uh, trying to say so he lives in the next town over it's about 30 minutes or 45 minutes from where i live right 
uh, funny stories, man. So he went to the same dealership that I got my car from, which is funny. It's a funny story. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you all the details and all the specifics about it, but he actually was at the same dealership that uh, you know that I was at. So he ended up buying this car at the dealership where I'm getting my stripes done at, um, which is uh, about another 20 minutes. So he ended up passing. Well, he went to the dealership that was local to him, which is where I actually bought this car. Passed the dealership where I had all the issues with. Um, and my, you know, local to me. And then he went another 20 minutes down, 20, 30 minutes down, further down south to actually buy this car, um, which is a, a really good dealership. I've never bought, bought from them, but. That's the first time I bought them. But you've had a good experience with them or anything else? Yeah, they had the inventory. They had the, oh yeah, they, they do have a lot of inventory. As a matter of fact, on the next video, when I do my stripes, you guys will see, I'm gonna show you guys some of the inventory, but they always have at least seven or eight Hellcats sitting there, man, o almost always. Um, uh, they have mainly chargers, but then they, they also have at least two or three challengers as well And they have all different colors man. So they always have the inventory It was funny because we were talking about it and I was saying I was telling him that uh, a Few months ago when I was over there looking, you know looking and shopping around They you know I was like, man, they didn't let me test drive the cars. And he was like, oh, yeah, they don't let you drive them So it's not even so that is literally like their policy So, you know when you buy a car from that specific dealership, you know, they're not molested, you know, they're not People just taking joy rides in them, you know, right. knowing they're not gonna buy a car, but hey, I wanna go test drive a Hellcat. Because like I said, the, the, the people that had my car, they were they were pushing me to go drive, to test drive a car, which I was like, no, nah, I don't want to. Um, I'm good, I've, test, I've test, test driven them before, but that just goes to show, man, that, you know, when you buy a car, you got 60, 70, 100 miles on it, and you don't know what those people are doing, you know? So, uh, so that particular dealership, man, that I'm gonna go do my strikes, that they finally, uh, 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 did the right thing and was trying to get my stripes and doing my stripes um, You could tell that they treat their customers well they treat the cars well and everything else and he had a good experience buying from them So whenever I buy another car, that'd be definitely where I go Anyway, man other than that um, You got anything else you want to tell them or oh, you got your Instagram in there tour red cat and we'll put them on the bottom of the screen um, So you guys can go check it out man because like I said you could they, where's this guy going? Come on, man. <laughs> One thing about Florida, people don't know how to drive either. <laughs> so you always got to be careful with people driving, man, because it's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, you put the Instagram on the bottom of the screen, man. You guys definitely want to go check him out. If you want to see uh, dope pictures of, you know, of his car and the other cars, he goes to a lot of meets and everything else. So definitely, man, go check him out. Um, he's in a lot of my pictures as well, um, because lately I've been going to some of these meets and everything else, man, and, uh, you know, just having a good time out here in Florida. I've been, telling, I've been telling people on YouTube, man, I'm trying to get, so there, there's not a lot of YouTube channels out of Florida, which is weird because we have an awesome car scene, right. you know, we have every, I mean, literally everything from, from trucks, like pick, like pickup trucks that are lifted from uh, uh, lowered pickup trucks, you know, the mini trucks or whatever the case, but lowered pickup trucks to, uh, to tuners, I mean, to, to muscle cars, we literally have almost everything. But there's not a lot of channels that showcase it, man. Right. So I'm definitely trying to put that, man. I'm trying to put Florida on my shoulders and, and definitely uh, showcase the the, the Florida uh, the Florida car scene because it, it it deserved, man. Like we definitely have a crazy car scene and nobody's putting it out there. It's not on the YouTube map, I guess, if you want to put it like that, man. So right. that's definitely what I'm trying to do. Anyway, man. Other than that, I want to give a special thanks to Keith, man. Like I said, uh, hit him up a couple. Well, actually, well, yeah, a couple days ago. So hey man, let's go out here and do this, uh, uh, you know, feature on your dope ass ride. And he was like, yeah, sure, man, come down and do it. I want to say thank you, I appreciate it. And um, other than that, make sure you guys stay tuned. I got a lot of things planned for my car. As you guys know, I'm at at 2,600 subscribers. I'll be doing my next mod on this car. So we're very close, man. I think we're already over 2,500. So we're very close. As soon as we get 2,600 subscribers, we'll be doing the next mod. So make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. Um. And then obviously comment down below as well, man, and hit that like button, man. Um, other than that, again, I want to say thank you to my yes, boy sir. Keith. Yes, sir. Like thank I said, you. I just just met him, man, not too long ago, a couple what, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. A couple weeks ago, man, and obviously, man, you, you 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 can feel people out. Very cool dude, man. Very humble. You know, he drives around a sick Hellcat, and you would think he drives around like a like a Ford Escort or something. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like if you met him, you didn't see his car. You'd be like, oh man, you know you. you 
he probably got like a little Escort, a little Honda Civic or something. And he comes out to this thing and it's like, come on, man. Why didn't you tell me you was driving that beast around? But anyway, other than that, man, appreciate you guys for checking out the video. And we see you guys on the next one, man. Later.